Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys know when I upload. <sighs> it's been a long night. All right, tonight is my massive subscription unboxing. Tonight is just going to be the huge. So I did not subscribe or resubscribe to any of my live glams. I am going to check out what next month has, and I guess you guys will find out in my next massive subscription unboxing if I subscribe to them that month or not. But the rest is just my usual subscriptions that I get every single month. I also have a little bit to chit chat about, so I don't want this intro to be too long. So we're going to go ahead and jump into things. I really liked how last month was. I threw up a little bit about each subscription, how much they cost, and also like the retail value, all of that on the screen for you guys. So I'm not gonna keep like looking down at my phone trying to figure out the value cost of each item. So some of these subscriptions actually come with little cards that tell me the value of each product and then the total value of the whole thing together. I don't mind telling you guys that right here in this video, but for the ones that don't like Ipsy and that kind of thing, I will have it on the screen. I will also have all the information down in the description box, as well as links and that kind of thing for you guys to sign up. If there is coupon codes on certain products, I will make sure I throw those on the screen as well for you guys. I think that is it. I did want to mention that my Sephora Play, I do not total up. It is all exclusive samples through Sephora, so I do not total that one up. That one is just to unbox it, show you guys what I got, see if you guys are interested in that subscription. I'm gonna also just tell you guys my opinions on the subscriptions, what I think, if this month was kind of a hit or a miss on them, that kind of thing. It is the end of the month. My massive subscription unboxings is kind of just a way for you guys to see a good idea of what each subscription is, which one would be good for you, or if you would wanna to subscribe to all of them like I do. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Ipsy. Ipsy comes in this pink envelope every month. I have been subscribed to Ipsy for like over three years now. I'm pretty sure it's been over three years. And I honestly still get so excited when that pink envelope comes in the mail. This is what the bag looks like this month. And I think this is the first month in a few months that there was not sheet mask on the outside of my bag. <laughs> this month's theme is confidence level selfie with no filter. Ooh. Okay, so the first item I'm pulling out is from Hey Honey, amazing skincare brand already. I'm excited. This is their Take Away the Drama Youth Boosting Honey and Copper Peel Off Mask. Ooh. It exfoliates to lift away impurities and drama for all skin types. So it looks like this. It's a pretty decent sample. It is a peel off mask, so that's exciting. Yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. I'll definitely have to throw this in one of my skincare videos on my Instagram for you guys. My Instagram name will be on the screen if you guys want to check that out. I try to do, oh, already dropped this. Try to do a skincare video every single week, but things get a little hectic. The next thing is from Ciate London and it is their Glow 2 Highlighter. I am so excited. I have been wanting to try out their highlighters and blushes for so long and I don't know why, I just keep putting it off like other things come up. This is what the packaging looks like. I will definitely have to give this a go in a video for you guys because, oh my lord, you guys see that? That is so pretty. I don't even want to swatch it because I really want to do a first impressions and a video for you guys, but it is in the shade Moon Dust. Next, I have this. Okay, I've actually got one of these before. This is from Trust Fun Beauty. This is their Lipgasm Lip Gloss. I've actually got their Lipgasm, I hate saying that, but I've got their Lipgasm um, Lip Exfoliant, so like the... Um, it's kind of like a balm with a little bit of grip to it to just kind of exfoliate your lips like a regular lip exfoliator. So this is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the actual product looks like. I also forgot to mention that this makeup look I posted last week, I will have that video linked up here. I tried out a few products from the Kylie Cosmetics Birthday Collection. So this is like a very deep, like almost like vampy red. You guys can see that. This is the shade Evil Genius. Ooh, I like that. But it's a very pretty red. I do want to see what the applicator is like. 
Okay, so it's just like one of those like flat applicators. Um, it kind of has that plasticky smell to it, but yeah, I'll have to give that a go. Great. Next, I have another cream pigment from Hikari. I seriously just need to get a new Z palette. I'm getting so many single eyeshadows from Ipsy lately, it's not even funny. Oh, that is so pretty. This is the shade Fierce, and the shade is very fierce. That is so beautiful. I believe I've gotten like three or four Hikari cream pigments from Ipsy. I really just need to sit down and do a whole video on them and make an eye look with them because they are so beautiful. The pan size is really good too. The last product that I'm also really excited about is another brush. I get Luxie brushes all the time from them, but this is another brand that I was introduced to from Ipsy. This is from SL Miss Glam. This is her SG62. After I tried out her first one, I don't think I have it on hand, but after I tried out her first brush, I had to follow her on Instagram and I always keep up with like new launches and stuff like that that she does because her brushes are gorgeous. But this one, honestly to me, it feels like it would be another highlight brush. I feel like my last one that I got from this brand was a highlight brush as well. But it's just really cute packaging. I guess it's almost like little kitty, so some people aren't really into that, but it does have like the two little jewels on the side. And then the handle is actually clear and there's glitter through it. So I do think it's cute. I'll definitely use it. Her other one was really good quality. So now I will have all of that information up on the screen about the Ipsy Glam Bag. If you guys want to check that out, see the total value of this bag. I honestly think this month is a pretty good bag. Um, I'm impressed with them again. Moving on to Yes Oh Yes. They kind of went up the same alley with Ipsy this month with a shiny envelope. So this month's theme is Kelly Love. This, I do really feel like the quality of Yes Oh Yes is getting better and better. I'm hoping I'm not jinxing myself by saying that, but I really do feel like that. I keep feeling like I need to just cancel it because it's just another subscription and it honestly is a lot every single month, but I feel like their quality is really getting better. They also include the prices of each product and the retail value, so I will let you guys know as we go. So the first product is their palette of the month. Yes, the palette every month, which is exciting. This one honestly feels a little cheaply made, I'm not gonna lie, but let's check it out. This is from Beauty Creations. It is the Kelly set. This is what it looks like. It does have like a slip cover on it though. And it almost has like the BH Cosmetics feel to it, but it's a little bit even more cheaply made. It does have like a little slip cover in it. And this is what it looks like. Like the actual setup and layout of it does look like a BH Cosmetics, kind of like the Shannon XO palette. But actually having it in person and holding it, it is a lot cheaper made. Like I said, the colors are absolutely stunning though. I will set this aside and make sure I do like a video or something like that showing you guys this beautiful palette. It actually looks so pretty with my backdrop. <laughs> this retails for $28, so I've never heard of this brand before, but I am intrigued. The next product I actually wanted to say something about, I canceled Lip Monthly, and the next month I received another bag. And I've heard about this happening a few times to people, and I was a little irritated, but we were so busy that month, I never even checked to see if I was charged. The bag wasn't awful. I did try to include it like in a video, but I think that was the video that got corrupted. So it wasn't really included in any videos, but this was actually one of the items that was in that Lip Monthly as well, and I actually do like it. This is from Sorme, and this is their blotting paper that retails for $12 but it's literally just like sheets. I don't wanna open this one because I do have that one open, but it's just little green sheets of blotting paper and they're super handy to have on you, especially in the summertime. I'm more combo to dry than oily now, but during the summertime, sorry, this lighting is crazy tonight. During the summertime, I do get very sweaty and that's where these are nice too because sweat will still move your makeup around just like oil does. So these are really nice to have during the summertime. Again, $12 for these. The next one is from Laughing Co. I think that might be how you pronounce this. It is their Cloud Lip. I have like one of these in like a really dark berry tone and I actually thought I was gonna get the same one but I didn't. I actually got a lighter pink color, which is really pretty. 
yeah, it's really creamy. I remember liking the other one. It's this top one. Sorry, I've done other swatches tonight, but it's the top one. I have tried this out before from a BoxyCharm though, and I really did like it. The applicator's a little weird. I don't think I've ever stuck it in a video, so maybe I'll do a video or look up this brand, see what all they got. Maybe do something with it in a video because I really did like this product. I feel like this is a great product that was in a BoxyCharm, so it's amazing seeing this product in a yes, oh yes. But this retails for $20. Next product is from Crown Brush. It is their angle contour brush that retails for $22. I'm always very torn on crown brushes. This is what it looks like. I do really like the fact that there's like the grip on the handle, but I feel like crown brushes can sometimes be very flimsy and not very dense and stiff enough to apply powders and stuff like that really well. So I feel like this wouldn't really do the job personally for me for a contour. I kind of want more of a dense brush. Now I kind of feel like I'd be able to use this for blush so I may give it a go for that but yeah it is still nice getting brushes but I do feel like Yes Oh Yes has sent out a lot of crown brushes lately. And the last product is from Masquerade and it is their pre-party sheet mask. I love me some sheet masks and I've never heard of this brand, so that's exciting. This one retails for $12. Like if that's true, that is crazy. It says it's supposed to brighten, prime, and energize. Ultra moisturizing infused with argan oil. Eco-friendly. Very bougie sheet mask, but I'm excited to try it. The retail value for Yes So Yes comes up to $94. I honestly think this month they did pretty good. There's a few products that I'm kind of like, eh was just kind of like, I guess the blotting paper is kind of a repeat for me. For other people though, I'm sure they'll be excited about it. I'm kind of like done with the crown brushes for a little bit. I kind of want things to be mixed up just a tad, but besides that, I don't think it was a bad month. So next I'm going to jump into my BoxyCharm that has been very controversial this month with all the drama going on in the beauty world. All right, so this month's theme is Life of the Party and we have our little pamphlet with all of our stuff on here and the first one that I'm just gonna get out of the way is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. So I actually bought the little book with both of these together, the Party Animal and Boss Babe. I will link that video up here if you guys are still interested in checking it out. You might not be. <laughs> A lot of drama has come to tell with all of this and I do really feel bad for BoxyCharm because I do think that they're an amazing subscription brand, so I honestly wouldn't throw any hate or shade their way. I don't feel like they deserve it. I feel like they were just trying to team up with the brand. So yeah, I'm kind of hoping that everything has cleared over by now with all of the drama, but this is what my party animal looks like. This is the one that I already had on hand to show you guys because the new one is going in that giveaway, but there is beautiful shade. You guys can check out my first impressions, see my thoughts and all that on this guy, but yeah. This retails for $19. The next product is from House of Lashes and I'm so excited to try these out because I have never tried their falsies before. This is their falsies in the style Temptress. And that's what they look like. They're very fluffy, very out of my comfort zone with lashes. I have hooded eyes, so sometimes it's hard for me to wear really fluffy lashes without covering up my whole makeup look. I know, bummer, but... Um, the House of Lashes, it just says it's, it's $9 to $12, depending on what style you got, because there was a lot of styles this month. Next item is from Smashbox, and I'm actually super excited with the product I got. I know a lot of people were mad because they were getting, like, metallic gold and like silver shades of liquid lipsticks and that really does suck. I got their Be Legendary Triple Tone Lipstick and I kind of want to do a video on this because I find it so intriguing and I missed the bandwagon a long time ago on this product but I really want to try it out in a video. Just look how cool that is though. It's like three toned and one lipstick and I know it's old news now but I'm still excited about it. And this does retail Again, there was tons of different options, so it's anywhere from $21 to $24 in the shade Berry Ombre. Next, we have Wonder Beauty, which I was so excited about. This is their Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask, and there's actually three of them. They retail for $13. I'm not sure if that's all together for the three or like 
piece. I would assume like for all three of them together. I have tried these out before and I really did like them. They're not really my go-to. I like more of like the hydro gel or like jelly ones. I feel like they're a little bit more refreshing, but these ones were great for brightening my under eye. I do have to say that and I did like them and I love Wonder Beauty. So yeah, I do like these a lot. I'm excited I got some more. Next we have from Bang Beauty their chocolate eyeliner. This is what the packaging looks like. I feel like this is an item that is like, all right, but I'm kind of like over eyeliners in general. I think everybody who gets subscriptions are. The packaging is super cute. It's just like a gel eyeliner. I do think it's really different and they're switching it up by making it a gel and not like your standard pencil or even retractable pencil. So over those. But this is a gel and it is just like a chocolate brown. So it is nice to get one that's not like a total black shade either, but I don't know how often I'll be using a chocolate brown eyeliner either. But it does retail for $22. And lastly from Adis, I think that's how you pronounce this. It is their organic infused age defying nail treatment essentials. Their packaging is very sleek and cute. And this is just a nail treatment. So yeah, it says sweet almond cuticle oil. The bottle looks like this. I've actually heard pretty good things about this. I have so many cuticle oils open right now. It doesn't really have like a good smell to it, <laughs> but I will definitely give it a go. Maybe throw it in like a nail care vlog that I've been thinking about doing. It does retail for $18 though, and it is a good size. That cuticle oil is gonna last you a while. So now I'm gonna have all of that info thrown up on the screen for you guys. I also have a 20% off your next Smashbox purchase on smashbox.com. Use the code BOXY20. And you can also get 25% off your next order at Borley Los Angeles. Use the code LLLACharm25. <laughs> Next, we're going to jump into our Allure Beauty Box, which comes in this cute little red box. And this is the little booklet for this month's Beauty Box. It shows each product, a little bit about them, the retail cost of the full size, all of that where you can get it. And sometimes there's coupons. So if there is a coupon while I am talking about the product, I'll throw it up on the screen for you guys. So the first product is from Claudel. I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce this, but I actually already have this and I use it quite a bit. I have just a couple of like the sample sizes like this. I absolutely love this. It's a great moisturizer. It smells really good. It's been a minute since I've used it. It smells very just fresh, but it's so nice on your skin and it's a great moisturizer. The full size retails for $39. It is more up there and cost for a skincare brand. The next product is from Ico and it is a black eyeliner. <laughs> Uh, I actually like this eyeliner. I'm not going to open it because I feel like I already have one of these open and I'm trying not to open any more mascaras or eyeliners at the moment. But this is their Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. This is a full size and it is $22, so that's awesome. I actually feel like, I know I've used this and I don't mind it. I don't think it's bad. So it might just be a backup one or I might just give it to somebody or throw it in a giveaway or something. But I... Don't have any complaints with it, but it is just a black eyeliner. I know it kind of gets repetitive and kind of gets tiring getting them in subscriptions all the time. The next product that I will probably do a full video on, I feel like this is really cool and I'm really picky about these kind of items. This is from Lauritzy Cosmetics. I have gotten quite a few eyeliners and lip liners from them lately in subscription boxes. The packaging is really pretty and sleek. It's like a matte black and Lauritzy Cosmetics. It's kind of like in a rose gold color. I'm really living for the packaging, honestly. But this is their Light Stick in Halo. So Light Stick is what they call their highlighting stick, which I think is so cute and it is in the shade Halo. So the packaging looks like this. Again, very sleek. And this is what the highlighting stick looks like. That looks so pretty. Again, I don't want to swatch it because I think I am going to do a whole video on that. That is just so beautiful. This does retail for $24. I'm not sure if this is the full size, but it honestly looks pretty big if it's not. But yeah, I'm super excited to try that out. I'm really picky about stick highlighters. This product is the whole reason why I wanted this box so bad. This is from... 
I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but they have blown up all over Instagram. They have all kinds of different products, but this product I've been really intrigued about for a while. This is the packaging. It is their Lip Sleeping Mask, and this looks like a very tiny sample, and I'm hoping I'm not going to be like upset about it. So if it was this size, I wouldn't be too bad because it's lip balm, but they're killing me with these little samples. Like you barely get any product in that. But I'm still excited to try it out before I purchase it. The full size for lip balm is $20. It is a sleeping mask for your lips, but it's kind of quite a bit. It is just kind of like a balm. It kind of has like a rosy tint to it. It feels really nice though. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good. Yeah, super excited to try that out. I know it'll be in a skincare video for my Instagram. And the last things in here is a shampoo and a conditioner from Nexus Nature Science Salon. Actually currently running really low on my current shampoo and conditioner. So once I run out of that, I will have to give this a go. Let you guys know in a blog or on my Instagram how these go. But those are really good sizes. It's step one and step two. The shampoo for a 13 and a half ounce bottle is $12.99. And then for the conditioner, a 13 and a half ounce bottle is $17.99. This sure is definitely supposed to be more magical apparently, but yeah, I'm excited to try it out. It says damage healing on it, so hmm, looks pretty promising. All right, that is it for the Allure Beauty Box. We've got one more. So lastly, we have my Ricky's Cult Crushes for this month, and this box is rather large. We have the products on our little Colt Crushes, but they do not include the prices of each product. So again, I will just have to throw those on the screen for you guys. So the first item we have in here is from Jean Perry, and it is a rose sheet mask. Looks like this. You guys know I am sheet mask obsessed, so I'm excited to try this out. It just looks like your standard sheet mask, but it does say rose water infused hydrating sheet mask. So yeah. I'll have to try it out. I always tell you guys the tea on these type of masks. If I do them in an Instagram video or just in my empties, I always talk about my sheet mask. The next thing is from Girlactic, and I'm excited. I love Girlactic's lip paints. This is one of their matte lip paints, and it's full size. That's awesome. This is in the shade Posh. Ooh, I think I might have this already. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not gonna open this just in case, but you guys can kind of see from the bottle, it is a pretty shade though. I really do like my lip paint I already have, but like I said, I'm gonna set this aside just in case I already have it. Their liquid lipstick formula is really good though. All right, next is OMG Skincare Blackhead Pooling Gel, which sounds really odd. It is, I'm assuming this, yeah. I like that packaging, it has like strawberries on it. I've never heard of this before. I'm all about skincare though. This excites me. So yeah, it looks like this. This is a dime size amount of the gel on clean, damp nose. Gently massage in circular motions for two to three minutes. Rinse off with lukewarm water for more intense exfoliation. Pair with their I'm Buddy mini brush. So I kind of got the idea that it was like a pill-off mask, but apparently it's not. But I'm all about skincare, but when it comes to like deep cleaning my pores around my nose, I'm really all about it. So I cannot wait to try that out. Next, we have an Ella and Mila nail polish in the shade Wild About You, which is a very bright pink. Looks amazing with my backdrop. <laughs> I think everything looks amazing with my backdrop tonight. But yeah, I'll definitely give this a go. I kind of wish I would have gotten this at the beginning of summertime, but I'm still excited to try it out for the rest of summer. It's very bright. Last month, we actually got the Ricky Care Backstage makeup remover wipes that I'm trying out. I will throw it in a blog for you guys, but this month we're getting a Ricky Care no crease clip. So they're supposed to, I guess, help you like while styling your hair, but also like when you're doing your makeup, you can kind of just pin your hair back. I'll definitely have to try them out maybe in a video or something and we can kind of see by the end of the video if I have crimps in my hair or not, but that is what they look like. It is like weird to think if they don't crimp my hair because they're metal clips. And that completes Ricky's Cool Crushes for this month. Hey guys, so I know this is different than usual. I was completely scatterbrained and not all there yesterday when I did my unboxing, so I forgot my Sephora Play, which 
is right here. So I thought I would just sit down tonight and unbox it for you guys and then just add it to this video. So this month is Beauty Schooled. This is our sheet. And the 50 point card for my next Sephora purchase if I purchase something in store. And then of course all of the products that I got on the other side seen sneak peeks of this and I've seen other people's bags so I kind of know like what a lot of people got. I'm super excited about this month. This is what the bag looks like. It is cute as well. Very simple but cute. The first product that I got is actually a favorite of mine. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I actually have the full size of this but I'm needing to really repurchase so I'm glad that I have a little travel size to get me through until I do repurchase. The next product that I have is a mini lipstick from Makeup Forever, and this is the shade C211. This is one of their cream lipsticks. It is just a mini. I have gotten some of their mini lipsticks in Sephora plays before, but it is not a red, so that is exciting. It is kind of like a nude mauve shade. I really like that. Next, we have a product from Living Proof. This is their TBD Multitasking Styler. So it's just like a styling cream for your hair. That is a really good sample size too. It's a very deluxe one. Do you wanna smell it? It smells really good, just very fresh, kind of like a lot of hair products do smell. But I've really been into more hair care products lately, so I'm excited to try this out. Next, we have Benefit Hula, and I think I am the only person on earth that has never tried out Hula before. And the reason being is I always wanted to buy it, and then they came out with Hula Light, so I was like, maybe I should buy that one. And I've always been back and forth on it, and I've never actually bought it. I've wanted to buy one of like their cheek palettes, like they had like the cheek parade and like a few other ones like that. And I wanted to buy one of those so I would have like the hula and then like a variety of their blushes too because I have not tried like any of their powder face products that I can think of anyways. But this is just a little hula sample. You can actually, I think, buy these like at checkout sometimes at Sephora's. I just never see them when I'm there, but I will definitely give this a go. It doesn't really look that dark, so I think I'll be able to just wear the regular Hoola too. Next, we have a product from Origins, and that's exciting. This is a skincare brand that I've really been wanting to try out for a while now. They have like a foaming face primer that I really want to get my hands on and try out. I've heard great things about it, but this is their retexturing mask with rose clay. It looks like this. Super simple but cute packaging. It is like a pink clay. You guys can see that. I will definitely have to put this in a skincare video for my Instagram. And it just kind of smells like a typical clay mask does. And instead of a perfume sample this month, I'm assuming everybody from what I could see this month all got shampoo and conditioner. And I got shampoo and conditioner from Way. So yeah, I'm so sorry that I forgot to unbox my play in the original video. I'm super excited to play with all the new little samples that I got from Sephora. I think it's actually a really good month. I will also have all the info for this up on the screen. Alright, if you guys have stuck around for this long, I truly appreciate it and thank you so much. What did you guys think about this month's subscriptions? Which ones did you get this month? Was yours good or not? It's not like I was really blown away, honestly, by that mini. Um, I'm definitely really excited about my Ipsy. I feel like they killed it this month. Yeah, they might actually honestly be the winner for me this month. I feel like they did really good. And don't get me wrong, there's other items and the other subscriptions that I'm really excited about and will definitely try out. I'm excited that they're all in box and now I can use the products. But yeah, I feel like this month could have been better, but... It honestly wasn't like too awful either. I'm excited. There, I was at least excited for a few things from each one. So yeah, <sighs> I guess I will see you guys in my next video. These videos are pretty exhausting. So yeah, I will make sure I have everything on the screen for you guys. Like always, my makeup worn is down in the description box, but you guys can also check it out last week's Kylie Cosmetics video. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around. Make sure you guys give me some thumbs up if you love my massive subscription unboxings, and I will see you in the next one.